Six months into my career with this prestigious company, they came to me and said, you've done an amazing job, we're so proud of you, but unfortunately, we have to let you go. With violinists in particular, I would say that they probably, is a myth that they don't look like me and they come in this package of a black female. Um, not to mention, I really didn't see anyone that looked like me in orchestra growing up. They were, I could maybe count on one hand, but that didn't stop me. I just had a natural interest in it. One of the main things I love is when I go to events, sometimes I'm not always wearing my chef coat, which I love because I'm kind of hidden in the scenes in the back. And when um, guests or clients um, find out that I'm the one that made the cake, they're like, you made the cake? Like, you, you own the business? And I'm like, yeah, women own businesses, that is a thing. I had to do a lot of extra things, uh, a lot of hustling, a lot of working and strategizing until 3 a.m. on many different nights in order to come up with different ways of putting myself out there, advertising myself, and a lot of free events, because I knew that I had what it took to do these events. Being a woman, being young, being a minority, that's not usually what you'll see in this industry. So I think when I first started, it was a struggle wondering if I actually belonged, if I could be successful, if people would actually take me seriously. Um, when I first started, I didn't even want to put my picture on my business card. I you know, was a paycheck away from being homeless and said, I need to eat. So I decided to start a company. I decided to start the brand Delcy, and I wish I had a sexy story that I mapped it out and I had a business plan, but no, it was sheer desperation. Um, I started playing violin when I was eight years old. I had no outside influence. I just knew that in kindergarten, actually, when I got to third grade, I got to choose an instrument. And back in the day when you used to have public school programs, I was able to take advantage of that, and I got, that was the only training I had. My parents couldn't afford to send me for private lessons. Uh, I rented an instrument through the school every year. Um, and that's the extent of my formal education was from third grade until I graduated high school. Granted, I moved around a lot, but that was the one thing that remained consistent. You have only this touch and this vision that somebody can see that, of course, they can go to someone else, but always know that there are people out there seeking you. That's what I would say is never give up. In life, you have to find at least one thing that you're passionate about, a reason for moving forward and being your best self and wanting to accomplish great things, want to do great things in life. And for me, that reason has been my children, without a doubt. As I've grown in my position, I know who I am. I know that I'm a trustworthy person, that I'm intelligent. I always stay up to date on what's going on in the financial industry. I should be working with people who can trust me and appreciate me for who I am. And it's really put me in some great positions and some great markets because I've really been able to help out women, especially women business owners. Hospitality to me, it's excellence, it's an art, it's something that should be respected and appreciated. I'm so passionate about it. I'm, I'm a domestic violence survivor. So in the course of my life, you know, in college I, I didn't quite finish. Um, I got involved with a questionable individual um, and I wound up finding myself married with three kids in an abusive relationship and it lasted for 10 years. So. Five years ago, I released myself and I got out of that situation and it was the hardest decision I ever had to make because, I, like I said, I have three children with this individual, three boys. One day I just decided I'm just going to give it my all and just go in full throttle and that's what I did and I've never looked back. Usually in your heart and in your head and when you can execute that, it's your own niche. You will see a lot of people that do the same things but not everybody can do what you can do.